babes, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this Disney's Lion King Scar makeup tutorial. And I love Scar, I think Scar is the best Disney villain ever. He's my favourite Disney villain of all time. He's so darn evil. And anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is apply my Rodeo Stem Cell Superfood Glam Balm Multi. And this is a super thick all over balm, so this will be acting as a protective barrier because we're going to be applying quite a bit of makeup today. We're not going to be using no face paints or anything like that. This will probably just be makeup that you've got in your cupboards already. And if you're a boy that doesn't wear makeup, then go raid your girlfriend, your sister, your mom's makeup and you'll probably find these things. And the first thing that we're going to use is a darker foundation. So if you have a foundation that does not suit your skin tone, then use that. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam in the shade Caramel and apply that to the upper half of the skin, don't apply that to the mouth area. Uh, and you want to take a foundation that's way lighter than your skin tone and I'm using the Vichy Derma Blend in Opal and apply that to the mouth area like this. A little bit on beside the nose like this. Make sure your lips are moisturised because you're going to go over them with the foundation. Yeah, so pretty. And blend this out. And to set that into place I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder all over. And if you're wondering why I've missed out the cheekbones and below that area, we're going to be covering that up later on. But just set this for now. Before I move on, I'm going to be putting on my contacts, and these are from PinkyParadise.com and these are cat green lenses, which is going to be brilliant for this Scar Lion King look. I've now applied my contacts and did a little bit of the other side of my face. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows, and what I'm going to be using is the Elamasca Facets Palette in Semblance, and I'm going to be using Obsidian Eyeshadow and Eyebrow Cake in Thunder, and I'm going to be creating those Disney villain eyebrows. They're going to be really strong and thick. And I'm going to try to make my eyebrows as arched as possible. Make them super pointed at the end as well. I'm then going to go in with my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 and redefine the eyebrows. And this will create a highlight. I'm going to blend that out with my fingers now. Now I'm going to go in with Thunder and I'm going to be drawing in a nose contour and hollow those out, blend that to the inner corner of the eyes and apply that all over the lid. Just use any matte brown eyeshadow for this. You want your eyes really really dark. I'm applying that also underneath the eye and extending that outwards. I'm going to be taking Tango right here, which is a copper burnt orange colour, and I'm going to be using that to blend out everything, so just apply that around the edges of the dark brown. That looks so cool. Let's draw the scar. So Scar has his scar on the left side of his face, I'm going to go back in with my concealer and map out where I want the scar. Once you've mapped out the scar, I'm going to be taking this pink blush called Hussy and apply that on top. This bit doesn't have to be perfect, you want it quite messy, it's alright. I'm now going to go in with my NYC liquid liner. It's hard to look cute with these contacts, I just look scary. Um, I'm just going to take my NYC liquid liner and outline the scars and make the lines quite organic and squiggly, not too perfect. And then just do your eyeliner. Scott is a Disney character, so he is larger than life, so make your eyeliner thick. 
Also, extend the liner downwards like this, creating that feline shape. Line the lower lash line with this very carefully and create a wing on the outer corner. This doesn't have to be perfect again because we're going to be smudging this out later on. Taking obsidian eyeshadow, which is the black, I'm going to be smudging in the liner. Now I'm going to be taking my Claire's Jumbo Pencil in yellow and just apply that to the waterline because Scar has yellow and green eyes. But if you don't have a yellow pencil, then just use a black and it will look equally as freaky. Now with the eyeliner again, I'm going to be drawing hair marks like this onto the cheeks. Yeah, just draw them like this. Keep drawing lines. Get a picture from Google of Scar and you'll see what his face looks like and you'll get a better feel of where you should put the lines. A lot of you guys are enjoying my Halloween tutorials this year. I've got a lot of love from you guys, so thank you so much. If you want another easy tutorial, just like the cut and wounds tutorial, comment down below. I remember I watched Lion King in February this year at the West End. Scar didn't have this sort of makeup on, but Lion King at the West End in London was absolutely brilliant. I would honestly recommend it to everybody. The show was absolutely brilliant. I loved it so much. Now I'm just going in with the Claire's Jumbo Pencil in black and filling that in. You can blend that in using a sponge. And obviously this is not black enough, this is just serving as a base. So I'm going to be setting that in with the Illamasqua eyeshadow in Obsidian. Now we are going to go in with the nose and the mouth. Just draw in a cat's nose. So draw a V on the tip of the nose. Draw a line from the side of the nose to the V. Curve it down. Oh my god, this part's hard. You have to really concentrate here. Draw another V. With the pencil again, I'm just going to be filling in that outline. And again, set it with the black eyeshadow. Extend the liner down to the mouth with a straight line. And then fill in the inside of the lips with the black. I'm going to be drawing on a Widow's Peak. And draw some hairs on the beard area. And this is the final scar from Lion King. Look you guys! And the wig I made myself using AB Hair Weave. And the ears are just pieces of paper that I covered in the dark foundation. This has been Mark the Prince of Vanity. Thumbs this video up if you love The Lion King or if you love Disney. And Comment down below, tell me what you think of this look. And tell me down below what you're going as for this year's Halloween. And subscribe, goddammit. Bye, you guys.